everyone this is vijay and welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will discuss the super duper fundamentals and problems of group theory and these problems are useful for cpz hcu and all other university entrance examination so before going to the today session subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me in telegram for more updates now let's have a look into the today session now see the first problem the number of abelian groups up to isomorphism of order 360 is the number of abelian groups up to isomorphism of order 360 is here we have four options option a is 5 option b is 6 option c is 7 option d is 8 okay here we solve this problem by using this theory by using this theory here we find the number of abelian groups up to isomorphism of order 360 here let us consider n if n is any is positive integer n is any positive integer here we write the prime factorization of n. Here we write the prime factorization of n that can be written as p1 raised to alpha 1, p2 raised to alpha 2, so on, pk raised to alpha k. It is a prime factorization of n where p1 to pk are prime numbers and alpha 1, alpha 2, so on, alpha k are the positive integer. Okay. Now let's see the formula here. By using this formula, we solve this problem. The number of abelian groups up to isomorphism of order n the number of abelian groups up to isomorphism of order n is n equals to whatever at p alpha 1 into p alpha 2 into so on p alpha k here p alpha i equals to number of partitions of alpha i remember these values p of 1 equals to 1 p of 2 equal to 2 p of 3 equals to 3 p of 4 equals to 5 p of 5 equals to 7 p of 6 equals to 11, p of 7 is equal to 15, p of 8 equals to 22. Here remember these values, by using these values we solve this problem. Okay, and 360 is a positive integer and it is a prime factorization of 360. Here 2, 3, 5 are the prime numbers, so it is a prime factorization of 360. Here p1 equals to 2, p2 equals to 3, p3 equals to 5 alpha 1 equals to 3, alpha 2 equals to 2 and alpha 3 equals to here 5 raised to 1. So what is the formula to find the number of abelian groups? n equals to p alpha 1 into p alpha 2 so on p alpha k. So what we write here? n equals to p alpha 1 into p alpha 2 into p alpha 3. So the values are p. What is the value of alpha 1 here? P of 3 into P of 2 into P of 1. Now observe here. What is the value of P of 3? P of 3 is 3 into value of P of 2 is 2 into P of 1 is equals to 1. Multiply all these values. What we get? 3, 2 is 6. 6, 1 is 6. So the number of abelian groups up to isomorphism of R 360 is 6. So the option B is the answer of this problem see the second problem the order of center of the group z12 with addition modulo 12 here we have to find the order of the center of the group z12 with respect to the addition modulo 12 okay here we have four options option a is 11 option b is 12 option c is 13 option d is 14 here what we have to find we have to find the order of the center of the group First, write the what is a given group? Given group is 0 to 1. So the elements are 0 to 1. Okay. Here, remember always 0 to 12, comma with addition modulo 12 is always cyclic group. Okay. It is always a cyclic group. Here, 0 to 12 is a cyclic group. We know that every cyclic group is an abelian group. Every cyclic group is an abelian group okay remember z12 is a cyclic group we know that every cyclic group is an abelian group if it is an abelian group then order of center of group then order of center of group is equals to order of group order of group remember here z12 is a cyclic group Every cyclic group is an abelian group. If it is an abelian group, order of center of group equals to order of the group. 
here what is the order of the group order of the group means number of elements in z12 so the number of elements in z12 are 12 so order of center of group equals to 12 so option b is a solution of this problem okay now see the third one Good. Now see the third problem. The number of elements of principal ideal domain can be. The number of elements of principal ideal domain can be. Here we have four options. Option A is 15. Option B is 25. Option C is 35. And option D is 36. Here we solve this problem by using this beautiful funda. Here what is the funda? The number of elements of principal ideal domain must be in the form. The number of elements number of elements of principal ideal domain must be in the form p to the power of n where p is prime and n is a positive integer remember this is the most important formula the number of elements of principal ideal domain are in the form p to the power of n where p is prime and n belongs to positive integer okay here 15 15 cannot be written in the form of p to the power of n okay now see the second one, 25, 25 means what do we write, 5 square, so 5 square means it is in the form of p to the power of n, p is prime, n is a positive integer, here 5 is a prime number, 2 is a positive integer, next here 35, 35 is also not, cannot be written in the form of p to the power of n, next to 36, 36 equal to what do we get here, 6 to square, 36 equals to 6 to square, but 6 is not a prime number. 6 is not a prime number, so it cannot be written in the form of p to the power of n. So, here 25 equal to 5 square, it is in the form of p to the power of n, here 5 is a prime number. So, option b is the solution of this problem. Next, see the fourth one. See the fourth one, the number of elements of order 3 in the symmetric group S5 is. Here, we have to find the number of elements. We have to find the number of elements that elements have order 3 in the symmetric group S5. Here we solve this problem by using this fundamental here. The number of elements of order R. The number of elements of order R in symmetric group Sn is n factorial by R into n minus R factorial. So this is one of the beautiful funda. By using this funda here we solve this problem. Okay. Now what is the number of elements of R? Order is given here 3. So R equals to 3. And what is the symmetric group here s5 so n equals to 5 to find the number of the elements of order r is what is the formula n factorial by r into n minus r factorial substitute the values of n and r here what we get 5 factorial by r value is 3 into n minus r factorial means 5 minus 3 factorial so 5 factorial value is 120 5 minus 3 2 2 factorial means 2 2, 3 is a 6. Okay, cancel the values. What do we get here? 20. See in options. Um, option B is the solution. Okay, cool. Now see the fifth one. If A and B are the two subgroups of group G. If A and B are the two subgroups of group G of order 8 and 6 respectively. And the order of AB is 12. Then find the order of A intersection AB. Here we, wanna, here we have one of the formula. By using this formula we solve this problem. That is order of a intersection b order of a intersection b equals to order of a into order of b by order of a into b order of a intersection b equals to what is the formula here order of a into order of b by order of a b if you substitute the values of order of a order of b and order of a b we get the order of a intersection b okay substitute the values order of a is 8 what is given order of a is 8 and order of b is 6 by what is the order of a b here 12 8 6 of 48 48 by 12 cancel the values what do we get 4 so the order of a intersection b is 4 order of a intersection b b so, order of interaction B is equals to 4. These are the important problems and fundamentals of group theory. In next video, we will discuss some more important fundamentals and problems of group theory. Thank you.